guys and welcome back to my channel and um, if you're new around here my name is Sophie and I'm going to be making a video on packing for Centre Park so it's only half an hour down the road so if we forget anything that's fine but I'm starting this video on Wednesday and we go on Monday so I want to share with you some of the tips and tricks that I do for packing to go on holiday in the UK. So I actually don't take suitcases when I go um, on a UK holiday. I take these, they're fabric cases basically, and you can fit so much in and two of them, sorry if you can hear the um, the windows open, so sorry if you can hear traffic, um, two of them side by side fit really well in our boot. So these are amazing, they've just got a zip and I mean, they're quite heavy duty I would say, the zip's not, but. I've honestly used these probably about 10 times um, and they've not ripped or anything. I have got about six of them just in case, but yeah, they're fabulous. They're good for storage as well. So um, I use one for Otis and one for me slash Liam. Liam's got like a bag over here that he'll put, pack his clothes in, but like for swimwear, toiletries and stuff, I'll pack in this one with my stuff. Probably in Otis's to be honest, because he doesn't need as much now he's getting older. So the first things I'm putting in, half a pack of nappies. We are on the cusp of potty training guys, but we need to take nappies. We're not that far yet. And four packs of wipes because you never can have enough wipes. Um, so that's the start. And then later on this afternoon or tomorrow, I'm gonna get um, Otis's clothes ready. Five outfits ready and packed. Oh, and then something else what I do for, uh, like during the packing week is get a toiletry bag out and pack anything that I know I'm not gonna use. So I've just got some new shampoo and conditioner. This little bag, these bags are great. I actually got them for my hospital bag when I was um, pregnant, obviously, um, but they're great for toiletries that are open. And I pack one for bath toys as well for Ota. So yes, that's like an ongoing week bag that I'll just keep adding to. Okay, it's a few days later guys, but here's the next stage of packing. So I've laid out all my underwear, which you don't need to see. My socks. We're only going for four nights, but you can never have enough underwear. Uh, two pairs of pyjamas, like a lighter weight and then a more cosy one if it's colder. And then... Oh, they're what I'm, I think I'm wearing on the first day. And then my new pants from Ugly Pants, which I'm so excited. Basically, I'm due for my period and I've got some period pants with a camisole vest to go with they're for night time. But yes, that's the update on the packing and it's Friday. Oh yeah, and then over here, I've pulled out all our swimming stuff, so Otis's um, armbands, his swimming costume, which he's had this for years, honestly, like since he was like tiny, but it was massive then, but he definitely needs a new one. Uh, Liam's trunks and then swimming towels there. That's as far as I've got. And then <laughs> obviously the nappies and stuff. So um, I think I'm going to do a lot of it on Sunday, but I'm going to pop this in the case tonight. Okay guys, here is an update of my packing. So in Otis's bag, I have got trainers, wellers, because apparently it's gonna be raining, uh, slippers, nappies, wipes, his rain suit, about four jumpers. We've got about six t-shirts because you never can have enough. A couple of pairs of shorts and about four pairs of trousers. And then four pairs of pyjamas. Actually, I think I've got five pairs, one extra. So that is in Otis's case. And then in mine, which I've definitely overpacked, <laughs> three pairs of jeans. Why have I done that? Um, about five tops, like T-shirts, a couple of jumpers. I've got a shacket type thing, obviously underwear and stuff. Uh, I've actually packed a pair of shorts and denim dungarees in case it's warm. This little crochet top, don't really know why. My heatless curlers, because they're fantastic. However, I might actually use them. And then I've got my straighteners in there too, because I'm probably not going to straighten my hair because it's um, we're going swimming tomorrow. And pyjamas. 
And then I'm going to take my Lucy and Yak backpack for like a changing bag for Otis. This is my makeup. This this is actually broke, but it's a good little size for makeup. And then over here, I've got a swimming stuff. Let me show you these because these are just so cute. I bought them yesterday for Otis, some little swimming trunks. So all this is going in our bag for tomorrow. And then I actually picked myself a bikini up. So they are, it's a white bikini and I've never had a white bikini and I really like the top. It's like quite thick bandeau and it's really flattering on. And another swimming costume in case that feels a bit weird. Otis's outfit for the day, we're just going joggers, hoodie. And then our, my outfit for the day, I've got these linen trousers, grey top, white tee, pants and bra. That's Liam's bag he needs to pack. This is the current state of me, guys. <laughs> Liam's actually taken Otis food shopping with everyone that's going tomorrow. But I look a mess. So I need a shower. Look at look at this. Never mind. And then um, I'm just about to go downstairs to pack his changing bag and like bits what we're going to take from the kitchen and stuff like that. So I have got Otis a fleece and like a lightweight jacket that we're going to take with like a beanie because in case we go out at night and it's cold, I've got his nappy cream, some sun cream nappies and wipes which i think i'll probably need a few more of those um wipes obviously his toothbrush and toothpaste which can go upstairs some spare socks and then this is the bag that i'm going to be packing next i have created a bag for games and toys so we've got our games some of otis's books and then in this tin is loads of little um toys for otis and then i've got a bag of craft stuff so i've got some like play-doh in there coloring books pens and stuff so i'll take that with us i'm also taking otis's carry potty we're not quite potty training yet but he keeps asking to go on the potty so i'm going to take that and then I've actually got um, a, what are these called? Pool bag, but it's got nothing in it um, because we're getting lunch tomorrow to take. So I'm gonna keep that empty. And then over here, I've got a bag on the go. That's a game, so that can go in the other thing of like some food bits that I'm gonna take. So Prosecco, some of these cocktail things, orzo and naan breads, just things that we needed. So I'm gonna take those. Okay, swimming bag is all packed for all three of us and I've popped some spare nappies in the front, well, swimming nappies in the front there so they're easy to access. We're getting there, guys. I've also put bath toys in and this jacket because you probably won't wear that tomorrow. Whew, we're done and I'm just going to have a shower now. Yeah. So it's the morning of Centre Parks, guys, and we are frantically going around the house trying to sort everything. So this is the current state of the table, guys. So I've got swimming bag, changing bag with cowpole. This is snacks, empty, um, I've forgotten this word again. What are these called? I don't know. Why am I going blank? I don't know, you know what I mean? Cool bag, there we go. Random stuff, Liam wants me to do his hair while we're there, so we're taking those. Random stuff bag, two teddies. Jack Sorry, it cut me off then, but blanket for the car and craft bag and we've got our suitcases upstairs so here we go guys these are the two things in the bottom of the boot next bag going in and we've got Otis's pram there obviously his car seat right there we go guys the car is packed I've just got my handbag left on the table um so I really hope you enjoyed this video and it's helped you if you've clicked on it and you're needing to pack for a UK holiday. It's helped you and let you know what I do. Um, but thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in another video.